So when working in the lab, you must wear full PPE, and that must be a lab coat and latex gloves. Each lab practical will have a risk assessment and COSH paperwork, which includes the chemicals in use. All this paperwork is found online, and if you ever have any doubts, the lab practicals are supervised by members of lecturing staff, and you must ask questions if you ever have any doubts or any questions you may need answering. In this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, the examination for blood uh, using the luminol test. And the luminol test detects blood that you can't see. So it's usually blood which is diluted with water uh, or, or a clean up of a scene. Um, it's something you visually can't see. Uh, so first of all, luminol is kind of like a transparent liquid like so. Uh, it's 95% water and 5% luminol powder. Um, and it's kind of the last thing you do at a crime scene or at a, a forensic examination. So we have a trainer here and I've looked for blood uh, using the KM test in the previous tutorial. Uh, I've looked under the microscope and I'm unable to find blood. I've even done the KM white test and there's no reactions. Luminol is extremely sensitive and it can go to one part blood and 50,000 part water. So imagine like running a bath at home and dropping a little bit of blood in. It's that sensitive. So as you can see, um, you, can, you can do it at crime scenes, on like the floor or like inside a car, but you can also use it on actual exhibits such as, in this case, it's a, someone's trainer from a, a, an assault case and he's tried to clean his trainers and we are still seeing if we still can detect blood. And this is done by the luminol test. This is the luminol reaction. And what we do here, we take a day shot in daylight so we know what we've uh, actually um, uh, set spraying luminol on. Then we kill the lights because luminol has to be done in total darkness. And then we spray the reaction. As you can see here, the blue light which you see is revealing a positive luminol reaction, one in the airbag and within the kind of uh, crevices of this trainer. Thank you for listening to the tutorials today. If you've got any questions about any technical detail or you'd like to speak to us, uh, please contact the module leader, myself, Paul Langton, either on email or Teams, or just pop in, knock on the door and come and see me.